Well, welcome. Hi, my name is Marcus Celeste, aka the Coach, and I want to ask you this question. Joy. I know the engineer got the right thing there, but welcome to another place where we can enjoy um, the Coach's Corner. And yes, uh, we are talking about we are talking about your campaign your campaign i was hesitating there because the engineer is not on target today Mr. engineer are you okay do we need to do we need to stop or do anything for you okay all right so we're talking about your campaign and uh we want today to define the campaign we want to define it this is just you know this is going to be so much fun for real uh because in the end uh this may be our theme for 2013 ain't that rhymed i wasn't even trying to rhyme there but uh seriously this may be our theme for 2013 and so just i don't want to say too much because some people tend to steal stuff and they'll run off you know they'll run off with it so i don't want to go too far you know what I'm saying? Uh, but today we're going to talk about what is a campaign. And this is going to be exciting. Just, to, you know, it's just going to be a few tidbits because you remember what we said on our last podcast. Uh, there's questions. We, we're, 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 going, we're, 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 we're going to decide whether or not we're going to decide whether or not we're going to have a, a campaign for more for life. You know, you know. And we're using this last political season to learn to enhance our own lives and to cease the bickering, if you will, both on both sides of the aisle and self-check ourselves to ensure that uh, we're ready to move forward with our own lives despite the political process and the political outcomes that are. Thank you so very much there, Mr. Engineer. Thank you so very much. Okay, so we're talking about the campaign. And uh, we haven't decided, per se, you know, to run for more, for life. We haven't decided yet. You know what I'm saying? This is something that, that we're getting ready for. Because you remember we talked about, you know, you got to consider to run for more, for life. You got to consider it. I know we want this and want that. We're not talking about for more stuff. We're not talking about for more stuff. So I'm going to do a small recap, and I'll probably be doing a small recap because it plays into what I'm going to talk about today. But right now we're in our feasibility study. study, And you and I are doing this together. You're going to call a friend. You're going to text someone. You're going to chat. You're going to get on Twitter. You're going to get on Facebook. Don't forget now we have a Facebook page called The Coach's Corner on SIBN Radio. And you're going to share and you're going to get other people involved in this because this is going to be so much fun. And I'm going to be working on some other things uh, to, to, to help get the word out about what we're doing. But before I go too far, I want to make sure you're on board. So we're going to do this is our time of a feasible study right here. This is our time for a feasible study. And, and so as we're looking at our, at our feasible study, uh, we're looking at those questions that I mentioned in the last podcast, radio cast, net cast, whatever you want to call it. You know, what, what, why are you running? Why do you want more for life? And, and, and who would vote for you and why would they vote for you? What are the issues relative to the campaign that you want to run? What are you running on? You know, what do you want to, I don't want to get ahead, but what, what do you want to fix, so to speak? What are your, your party's issues? You know, describe your positions and your platforms. And can you afford this bid? Can you afford to run for more for life? For more for life. And, it, and let me just say this before I go on to today's thought. 
those of you that are following me, you're getting all original material. I don't sit around, you know, eight to twelve hours a day reading uh, books uh, by, you know, by by famed authors and motivational speakers and inspiration. This is my 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 coaching is a result uh, of fifteen years of people who saved my life as a child and teenager to keep me from going to prison. Let's just keep it let's keep it on a on a real tip, okay? And so anybody that knows me well, if you Google my name, if you look at any of my material, I'm always cheering people on to the finish line. So you're getting some very original material. So you need to spread the word and tell your girlfriend to follow me here because this right here is going to be a lot of fun. All right. For today, what is a campaign? I looked it up, you know, because I didn't want to miss, you know, this is just so much fun. I want us to make sure we have our pillars in place. A campaign, and I did not bring my glasses, so I hope. I can make make this out here. A campaign, uh, militarily speaking, is uh, 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 operations for a reason. Operations for a reason, and you you can't have something going on and there is no reason for it to go on. You see what I'm saying? You gotta have a reason for operations, and then also another. Another meaning was a, a systematic course of aggressive actions for a specified purpose, for a specified purpose, for a specified purpose. Sometimes we don't find purpose until we become more specified. Sometimes we can't be more specified until we're more simplified. And sometimes we can't be more simplified until we're a little bit more humble because sometimes what we want we're not really planning to achieve it. We just want it. We want to grind our way, you know, like they say on Bounce TV, our way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, but anyway, going back to the today's podcast, radio cast, netcast, is to talk about the meaning of the word campaign. And so, if you got a little journal, I want you to take you some notes. If you've got, you know, a little, a little, and you know what, you should get you a little notebook and something a little small. And, and jot down thoughts as they come to you Not just my thoughts But thoughts as they come to you Because we're going to have so much fun with this Alright And so campaign Systematic course of aggressive actions For a specified purpose Here's another meaning If I can make it out Then I have my readers this, this morning the, competi see, the competition by a rival candidate Or organization for public office Alright And now here's some other words that will help you consider your campaign uh, definition. De definition uh, of your campaign, uh, as far as the word in and of itself. A campaign is also a crusade. So you have to decide: Am I going to crusade for more for life? You have to decide that. You have to decide that. And I'm not talking about material things because material things are, are really subsequent to. Uh, a spiritual and immaterial things. Um, yeah, I don't want to get. I don't want to get into that. But 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 if I could get five people, five people, maybe fifty, maybe a hundred, maybe one hundred and fifty, maybe five hundred. But the point is, if I could find some people that would stick with me long enough to to listen to what I'm saying, and we practiced it together, because it doesn't just because I have the answer doesn't necessarily mean I'm excluded from the solution. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? Just because somebody speaks into you doesn't mean that they have all the answer, all the solutions. They're just they're just being a vessel used to give you the answers for the period of time that you're under the tutelage or that you're connected to that person. You know, so never 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 forget that I need you as much as you need me. You know what I'm saying? And so you have to decide, and I have to decide. Okay, am I going to crusade for more for life? Now, here's another word, uh, 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 contest. Uh, am I going to contest for more for life? Battle. Am I going to battle for more for life? Am I uh, c combat? Am I going to combat for more for life? Skirmish. Am I going to enter a skirmish for more? Not a skirmish of fools now. now you know, not a fool skirmish, but a skirmish that, 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 that brings you uh, to a, 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 a operation that has a cause. You see, an aggressive action that has a purpose, you see. And another word is, is clash, a, a, a conflict, you know. And now here's, here's, here's one of the final thoughts that I want to leave with you today right here. The old armies spent the winter. This is so good right here. They spent the winter in their quarters only to take the open 
field in the summer with their campaigns. I love, oh my God, I guess somebody, the engineer to get me some hand claps and some stuff because it gets me so excited because it, it lets me know I'm on the right track myself because we're approaching winter. And so while, while winter is here on the Select USA TV I Broadcasting Network or SIBN, we're going to plan our campaign for more for life first first we're going to define what it is and you know and, and we're going to have to just do our feasibility study and, and and decide and decide and for those of you that are experiencing domestic violence you've got to decide are you going to campaign for more for life and and and, and, and leg legitimately so you have to ask yourself can i afford this campaign and, 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 and as I told you, we're taking from the political process and learning personal lessons. Listen, and, I, and, and who is going to be a part of my super PAC who is going to contribute to my cause? Well, we, we're getting ahead of ourselves, but maybe the next podcast should talk about the fact that you've got to begin to, to, to formulate what your cause is. And some of y'all got too many causes. You want too much, too fast. For too long and that's why you can't make headway you got to stick with the same thing uh, it may have some variations it may have some different colors it may have some different layers it may uh, balloon up and then swell back you know swell up and and then contract back down but you got to stick with the core the same core over and over and over to really be successful at something you can't jump 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 even in music now you, you know, this this latest thing out, you know, you're not being true as an artist because you don't even understand what genre you are. And then some people say, well, you can't put me in a box, but you got to start somewhere. You got to give the industry what they want uh, if you want to get in the door. You got to give pay Caesars what Caesars. You got to have some commonality. Why should we sign you unless your originality has been such an original uh, concept that we have never heard anything else like you? And there are very few people like that. There are very few people like that. So with the campaign, they spend their winters in quarters, you know, in, 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 their, in, their, in their living quarters. You, you, you get it? In their, in, in, on their jobs, you know, in, in their studios. They're quiet. Nobody knows what you're getting ready to do in the April of 2013. I mean, I know you gave them a clue, but nobody knows the specifics. Nobody knows how you're going to come out swinging. Nobody knows how you're going to come out smashing. Nobody knows how your, your offensive is going to be, how you're going to create a skirmish on March the 4th, 2013. How your crusade will be offensive to many June the 8th, 2013. But in the, in the winter of 2012, and if you're listening to this beyond that, in the winter of the year that you're live, listening to this, you begin to plot and you begin to plan. See, that's part of the problem with the church. We have always had these prophetic mantles and all of these biblical revelations, and we have not realized that a lot of this that we really want to accomplish in life requires for us to be able to have some time to plot our campaign no wonder your campaign in the past has been shabby no wonder you haven't had any votes you've left out the electorate you get it we're taking personal lessons from the political campaigns and we're applying it to our lives. And you know what? That doesn't exclude the fact that I have my own political opinions and you can join me on the political rant whenever we do it. We're still working with some producers trying to get that together. But listen, as a coach, I'm a coach first and I, I'm a coach first. And so I want to I want to get you on board. I want to get you on board. And so as the winter, as the fall, the fall has not ended yet. The fall has not ended yet. As we as we plot our way, you got some decisions to make. I have some decisions to make. Are we going to, first of all, have a campaign for more for life? Four more moments, four more seconds, moments, minutes, four more hours, weeks, days, months, four more years, four more decades. That's whatever the case is, fit in where you can. The point is, are we going to campaign for more? for life this thing is helping me I, i'm serious i mean because because we get stuck we get stuck and we and, and the lessons are all around us the lessons are all around us but we are so focused on the wrong thing sometimes intermittently 
not realizing that after you've done your civic duty, maybe perhaps you could look and glance at the political landscape and glance uh, or glean a lesson from it 